just not too far away from here, there are a group of people with lots of talent building a replica seaplane that led to the development of the Spitfire. It's happening up at Bodmin Airfield, and Johnny Rutherford is there. This is Hangar 4 at Bodmin Airfield, but if you come this way, you'll see that they're actually working on the wings of this fantastic Supermarine S5 plane. And someone that can tell us a little bit more and why they're doing it is Ian. Ian, so why? Why? Um, I think there's nobody in this country that doesn't understand the role the Spitfire plays and is moved by it and how iconic it is. But what few people realise is that without aircraft like this, the Spitfire could never have been built. The designer, RJ Mitchell, uh, honed his ideas and developed the technologies on aeroplanes like this for the Schneider Trophy. The Schneider Trophy was a speed competition for seaplanes, primarily between Britain, Italy and America. It helped with innovation. Speed records of 40 miles an hour grew and grew over the years. The first real breakthrough was the winner in 1927, Britain's S5, with a speed of almost 300 miles an hour. And that's the plane the charity are lovingly replicating by hand. These aircraft in sort of 1927 uh, were the fastest aircraft in the world. And by the time we won the race in 1931 outright, um, the aircraft, fighter aircraft today, took 10 years to catch up. So it was into the Second World War in 41 before they actually caught up with the, the level speed these things were going at. You know, they, this was completely and utterly pushing the bounds of technology. Well, Cornwall is where the expertise is. Uh, we have some guys here with probably a collective experience of over 100 years building this type of aircraft. I think they've built possibly 40 aircraft amongst them. One of them was involved in building the aircraft for uh, the film um, The Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines. So, you know, if you want to go where the expertise is, this is where you've got to be. The charity hoped to put together the complete replica of the Supermarine S5 seaplane by 2027 to marry up with the success of 1927. They're hoping at the centennial anniversary it will fly alongside its descendant, the Spitfire. Johnny Rutherford, BBC Spotlight, Bodmin.